And now, it's time for Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hook up. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, Corey Sandin, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup. And Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray, Rock God Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Rock Cod Rick Maxer. We're in the world headquarters of Let's Talk Hookup right here overlooking Fisherman's Landing in San Diego with all the boats operating and going here this morning. Busy morning here down at the landings, and we have Captain Art Taylor from The Searcher right here in the office with us. So you stay tuned. This is Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hookup and the Let's Talk Hookup app and radio network. You've heard all about it. You know the anglers catching fish have it. So what's holding you back? It's a fact. Fishdope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. Fishdope.com is the only fish finding service with a spotter plane along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. You can get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Martin Island 365 days a year. Fishdope.com is for everyone, whether you have your own boat, fish on your friend's boat, or a sport boat. Fishdope.com has online planning tools, moon phase, tides, hot bite icons, and more. So bottom line is, if you don't have Fishdope.com, well, you're probably missing a lot of bites. Membership costs less than $50 of gas, and that's for the entire year. That's right, one year. What a bargain. Plus, use the special code to save $20 on a new Fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. We all need to get around, but we all need something different from our vehicles. Your San Diego County Ford dealers have you covered if you're looking for a new truck this month. Plus, it's SUV season, so they have great deals for everyone. Whether it's a new Echo Sport that is nimble and fun around town, or the Ford Explorer that is capable of putting a boat in the water and has seating for seven, Ford has you covered. Ford trucks and SUVs aren't just powerful and legendary. They have the latest technology that helps you seamlessly connect your smartphone and ensure you're safe on the road. Features like Pro Trailer Backup Assist on trucks are truly a game changer at the ramp, helping you back up a trailer by simply turning a knob on the dash and doing the hard work for you. So check out all the great deals during SUV season and save some money on the right gear for you. Learn more at buyfordnow.com or visit your San Diego County Ford dealers today. They'll be glad to hook you up. Hook up! Welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up. Back at home, like you say, overlooking Fisherman's Landing and overlooking exactly where that searcher ties up. And what a fun day to have Art in the studio today, man. Yeah. In fact, the searcher's tying up any moment now, right? Yeah. Uh, eight o'clock. Yeah, eight o'clock. He's yep. coming in. All right, and with a nice load of fish. Yeah, he had some action on some yellowtail and a few yellowfin tuna, and unfortunately, the bluefin tuna are doing what bluefin tuna do. <laughs> yeah. Bite one seeing day them, and... seeing them, but not catching them. So yeah, uh, they're out there though. That's there's plenty of bluefin tuna around. That's good. Yeah, there's plenty of tuna around. So it's, yeah, and it's it's still just like July fifth, so it's early. Absolutely, yep. yeah. We have a big season ahead of us. Yes, we do, and we're we're ready. Yeah, we're ready. So, looking at the search, of course, we have our Let's Talk hookup day and a half trip on Tuesday afternoon. That's uh, it's, it's shaping up to look pretty darn good. Though. Yeah, there's some options for sure. You know, we still have a couple days to make a decision on where we're going to go, yeah. and uh, you know, there's some options locally there for that bigger bluefin tuna. And it sounds like that stuff floated yesterday and bit a little bit. And, um, you know, boy, it's a chance for a fish of a lifetime. And then um, down there, uh, you know, 120 to 140 miles, there's yellowtail on kelps. There's uh, yellowfin tuna on bait spots. And there's um, schools of bluefin tuna up to 40 pounds down there. So wow. we'll make a decision Tuesday afternoon probably yeah. which way we're going to go. What's the grade on that yellowtail? The yellowtail is 8 to 20 pounds. It's 
It's nice good, fish. good size fish. Yeah. yeah, they're fun to catch on twenty-five or thirty pound and a live sardine. And the last trip that I ran, uh, a lot of guys did well on yo-yo lures down there at ninety feet. They were getting bites, and so yeah, wow, it was good cool. fishing. Yeah, really fun. Uh, what's let's talk a little bit about safety on the searcher and all the all the sport fishing. They, the boats are being very diligent about uh, safety and, and and everybody's health and safety, right? Well, on the searcher, we are, that's for sure. We, um, you know, we have protocols in place where when you check in, you're going to get sanitize your hands. Uh, you're going to sign the release that uh, you haven't had any symptoms or haven't been in contact with anybody that's had symptoms for the last three weeks. And then you get your temperature checked before you go on the boat. And then the, the crew is there and they have face coverings and gloves on so that they can help load the gear and we sanitize your hands again before you come on and face coverings are required and um, in the galley we're doing shifts so that there's no more than two people at a table unless you know it's a household member you can have dinner with your dad or your mom or your sister or whatever and and then in the in the cabins, we're, we're using, um, you know, the HIPAA filtration system, and we're sanitizing everything. Uh, all, the, all the linens get changed, and the blankets get sanitized, and they're being rotated out on a regular basis. And, and uh, if you go into a cabin, you know, your head may be facing uh, outboard, and y- your, your roommate uh, head would be facing inboard so that there's distancing in in the cabins and uh and you know the crew is you know we have a big bucket of uh disinfectant wipes out on the deck and they just sanitize 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 all day long so we are very very conscious about making sure that our clientele is safe it's safe to come on board yeah and and it shows too because you guys have just done such a good job, and I know that the crews are very, very diligent about it because they know that's their job. I mean, that's what well. They need think for- about worst case scenario: um, Art and Celia Taylor get the virus. Right. Art's not running the boat for fourteen days, or it could be longer. Celia's not in the office. Could be, you know. I don't. I don't want to use the word catastrophic, but it would certainly cause a huge impact. Um, right. We don't want to get the virus. No. You know, if None we, of the boats. if you lose two captains, then who's going to run the boat? Right. You know? So, right. Um, we want to protect our clientele and and let them know that it's safe to come out because we're doing ab, uh, everything that we possibly can to make sure that uh, everybody's safe and we want to be safe as well. I it's uh we were you know it got brought up yesterday at the live broadcast somebody asked what the things were doing and it it's just been it's been good to see uh that um you know everybody took this very seriously everybody has their opinions and you hear some people this and some people that but thing, things were taken clearly very seriously as you hear from a protocol like that the check in process at the landings the amount of effort that people are putting into it and it's you know, it, it was not it was not taken lightly. You you can make whatever personal decision you want, but you can also be confident knowing that the boat you're going on, especially if it's on the searcher, the amount of effort that's been put into the safety of all the passengers. Indeed. It's about, um, well, you hear the phrase all the time, consumer confidence, you know. Right. I mean, I get it if you're, you know, in your 70s or something like that and you have a respiratory issue, then obviously you probably don't want to come on on the searcher, you know, because you're at risk. Um, But I think it's pretty safe to say that outdoor activities are pretty low risk, and for the most part, uh, with the exception at night uh, on these multi-day trips, long-range trips, uh, you're in your cabins, but for the most part, you're outside. And, you know, social distancing at the rail, if you have to be, you know, in the corner fighting a fish and you can't be six feet apart, then you need to wear a mask. Right. Simple, simple. Right. Wear a mask. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, it's. I don't think it's that big a sacrifice to make sure that <laughs> no. you are safe and your your fellow anglers are safe. That's and, yeah, pretty simple. Sure. And also, so you, we get the opportunity to continue to go fishing. And speaking of fishing, Andrew's calling us from the Pacifica this morning. Good morning, Andrew. What's up, Andrew? Hey, morning, guys. Morning, Art. Morning. 
Hey, I, I got to say that was very well put. Um, as far as our safety protocol, I enjoyed listening to that because it's uh, obviously the same thing here on board the uh, Pacifica because, like Art said, uh, as far as him and Celia, I have uh, two beautiful children that we're not going to bring it home to. That's for sure. Right. <laughs> yeah, no doubt about it. Yeah, got to be safe. So you catching some fish? Yeah, tell us about it. Yeah, yeah. So on a, on a, on a brighter note, um, yeah, fish, fishing's been a lot of fun. You know, yesterday there was a little bit of weather down below kind of where we've been fishing, so we, uh, we opted to stay up closer and kind of focus on the big ones. And, uh, man, it was, a, it was a fun day yesterday. Um, just about all day long we had uh, some kind of something hooked up. Um, at the end of the day we ended up with uh, 16 of those beautiful bluefin all in the oh. uh, 110 to 193 was our biggest one yesterday. It was, it was a lot of fun. Wow. And you had 16 of them. Yeah, yeah, we got lucky, you know, wow. 16 of them. You know, obvi- obviously with that kind of fishing, there's going to be casualties, so we did have a few get away, but for the most part, our group did a phenomenal job in uh, keeping everything straight and keeping, you know, keeping them tight, and we, we managed to capitalize on quite a few bites. Wow, congratulations. Yeah. So what was the uh, the hot ticket? You know, um, the flying fish on the kite was um, pretty deadly, but we also had quite a few bites on the uh, sinker rig and uh, sardine, um, the six-ounce uh, rubber-banded uh, sinker with a nose hook sardine was uh, pretty effective. Nice. Quite a few bites that way. Now, was that all day long? Was this action, or was it early morning, late evening? Yeah, um, you know, it was just about all day long. You know, we got a little shot in the dark where we got a couple before the sun came up, and uh, we were seeing fish all day long. Um, I think it was just a matter of getting on the right one um, throughout the day. But uh, for the most part, you know, there, there wasn't very many lulls yesterday. Wow, that's awesome. That's good that news. That is awesome. Well, great. So what's yeah. the schedule for the Pacifica there? Where, what, what, uh, when are you going fishing, and uh, do you have space available? Yeah, so we're, we're out tonight. Tonight's trip's uh, a day and a half. Um, a little bit of room on it, but um, we, we've got our whole schedule up for the rest of the month, as well as uh, August and September. Um, they're, our whole schedule's up online at PacificaSportFishing.com. Uh, you can make a reservation on our website, or you can call Seaforth Landing directly at 619-224-3383, and uh, they'll, they'll get you a spot to uh, hopefully come out with us, and uh, we'll do our best to get you on them. Beautiful vessel and uh, great operator and great uh, great crew, uh, Pacific out of Seaforth Sport Fishing. Way to get them, yeah. Andrew. Appreciate that report, and good luck tonight. Ho- uh, hopefully some of our listeners jump on that trip. Got You know, it's biting, so it's time to go. <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> yeah. Hey, appreciate the call this morning. All right. Thanks for your time, guys. All right. Thanks, Very good. All right. Hey, as you can hear, we have a great show lined up for you today. Boy, we really do. Just so much to talk about. So much going on with the searcher inshore, offshore, the long trips coming up, all this great bluefin up and down the beach. It's going to be a great show. And we want to hear from you. If you want to be a part of Let's Talk Hook Up this morning, give us a call at 833-288-0973. Again, 833-288-0973. Two eight eight zero nine seven three. Not only are we talking searcher, talking fishing, having a great time this morning. We are also giving away such a killer prize. End of the show today. Someone is going to get a brand new Anza Fish Pro Series fillet knife, the highest yeah. end knife you guy could ever get their hands on. That one hundred and eighty five dollar knife. Got it sitting right here, man. It's I, in fact I cut myself the other day. With it. It's like, <laughs> they're sharp. Yeah, no yeah doubt, and they dude. work. Yeah, this is a really nice size. Uh, Anza Fish Pro Series fillet knife, and uh, you will be a lucky, yeah, I mean, lucky person you, if you win it. You know the story; those guys got together in a collaboration with Fisherman's Processing and sat down with those guys to, you know, with the idea of creating the single best knife. You know, what can we do for material, sharpness, you know, shape, size, handle the whole nine? And you know, with those guys in mind, they went through several tests and built what you know what they feel is the best fillet knife ever made. And somebody's going to get that knife at the end of the show today. What an awesome prize and an awesome opportunity to talk to Captain Art again. Eight three three two eight eight zero nine seven three. That's the number. And when we come back, we're going to be taking your phone calls. Lots of great info coming your way. You stay tuned. You're listening to Southern California Sport Fishing Voice. This is Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and radio network. Seakeeper, the leader in marine stabilization, has launched its newest, smallest, and most radically different model, the Seakeeper 1. Now, for the first time, stabilization is available for boats as small as 23 feet. The Seakeeper 1 is designed to eliminate up to 95% of boat roll on vessels 23 to 30 feet. With a fresh new look, the Seakeeper 1 has a compact flush mount installation and runs on 12 volt battery power. Installation is a breeze. It can fit under almost any seat, and now your skiff can 
enjoy the comfort and enjoyment that only a SeaKeeper equipped boat can provide. Check out the SeaKeeper demo boat at upcoming shows and arrange a free test ride. SeaKeeper has changed the lives of many Southern California anglers, including Pete Gray, and will allow you to stay on the fishing grounds when others need to head back to port. Visit SeaKeeper.com slash take a ride to arrange a demo. Eliminate up to 95% of boat roll on your trailer boat. SeaKeeper, once you feel it, you'll never boat without it. Okay, we're here at beautiful Whalers Cove Lodge in Angoon, Alaska, with Mark Powers, owner and operator of the lodge, and Chris Martino, who's running the new kayak program here at Whalers Cove Lodge. Mark, tell us about this new kayak program. Kayaking in Alaska was just a natural progression for us to move to got the conventional saltwater charter fleet. We've got amazing freshwater systems and eco-tours. Kayak fishing has been something we've been watching for years. We've aligned with Hobie together a uh, pretty amazing fleet. Well, we've got tons of options. We've got a couple locations around uh, the inshore area where we have kayaks staged. Uh, we've also got inflatables up in some of our freshwater systems. So we've got an opportunity to fish for fish, the lingcod, the halibut, all the five Pacific salmon species, you know, Dolly Varden and and cutthroat trout. There's a dedicated page just for the kayak program on the website, whalerscovelodge.com. I've experienced that freshwater fishing here as well as the saltwater fishing, and I can imagine fishing from a kayak has got to me just incredible. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. You know, the ranch is unique. It's one of the few places in the world where you can still drive ATVs up the beach. We have fishing from the beach. We have dive trips that we run to Pomo in a number of different spots. Kayaking, of course, has been real big. We were one of the first hotels to introduce kayaking. The ranch is small, you know, it's intimate, it's 34 rooms, so everyone gets to know everyone. The old saying, where everyone knows your name. Well, truly at Ranch Lanero, the employees do know pretty darn near all our guests' names. And what's even more interesting is most of the guests know each other's names. Very personal, very intimate, and a special, special environment. Two miles of beachfront, a mile on either side of the hotel. Ranch Lanero is really the last of the old-style Baja fishing resorts. 1-800-646-225. 1-800-646-BAHA and RanchoLeonero.com I'll personally guarantee your best fishing experience and vacation at Rancho Leonero. For local and long-range fishing, the Islander out of Fisherman's Landing is a favorite among seasoned or novice anglers. But Islander Charters is much more than great fishing. They also do incredible Guadalupe white shark diving trips as well as a schedule of kayak mothership trips. You need to check out the Islander on their website, islander-charters.com. The Islander is San Diego's leader when it comes to two to five day fishing. Watch the website for trips and adventures available. Experience the Islander difference. Visit islander-charters.com for all the details. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. What a great time this morning. Phones are already packed solid, but if you want to get your through to Chalk to Art, 833-288-0973. Indeed, and, and I have to say, you know, remember last Sunday we did Real Week tickets? Of course. And thanks to all our listeners for helping sell that out. Oh, and, great. Uh, so that was great news. Made that announcement. But also, don't forget... When we were on the show last week, uh, I promised to give away any your choice of any Talica reel to uh, uh, us in Shimano. They're doing that um, to any to one lucky person that bought tickets during that time right. period. Okay, so uh, Tim Baker pulled the winner, and congratulations to Phil Curry. Hey, he nice, is Phil. the winner of that. And then the Carl Newell Rod and Reel. Uh, congratulations to Andy. G- G- Giliano. Okay. Um, and he was the winner. And uh, Tim will be in touch with both of you. And uh, That's cool. Yeah, I wonder which one Phil's going to pick. That was such a cool promotion. If you didn't catch it one Sunday, we were talking about basically if you bought tickets for the Real of Week promotion, which, as we all know, is a really cool promotion by Friends of Rollo, where every week they give away another high end reel. But if you bought them during that time span and you mentioned that you heard about it on Let's Talk Hookup, yeah, Pete and Shimano combined to give you, you know, your choice. If you were the lucky winner, like Phil was, of any single Talica that you wanted. Cool. I thought that was really cool of you, man. Yeah. And I know that that sold a lot of tickets and raised a lot of money for Friends of yeah, So nice well, going. Thanks to uh, uh, Mike Lum and Tim Baker for all their hard work. That was pretty amazing. And speaking of hard work, there's another event coming up. Uh, the used tackle sale going to be a big event. Yes, that. yes, it will. Sunday, August 9th at Dana Landing in Mission Bay, 1 p.m. start. Um, boy, it's going to be 
that's going to be a big, big sale. It, so. it, it will be. I know that I mentioned it yesterday, but we are one of the drop-off locations at Fisherman's Landing Tackle to receive donations. And it is it is super easy. I mean, you don't have to do anything if you don't want. If you'd like, you know, if you'd like a tax-deductible receipt and things like that, of course, we'll help take care of that too. But if you just want to clean out your garage and you know you've got some fishing tackle that is not going to be of use to you anymore, but you want it to go to Friends of Rollo and them to earn some good money with it, you can literally just go to Fisherman's Landing Tackle, drop it off to us, and we'll handle it. Dana Landing will certainly do the same thing. Like you can, you can walk in with a bundle of rods yeah. and a box of reels and just say, "Here you go, I'm out of here." Yeah. We'll take care and of everything. And there's everything several else. tackle stores up and down the coast of L.A., Orange I'm County. Sure. We have yeah, a lot I'm of sure. listeners up there that want to donate tackle. Hey, all that tackle, all the money produced from that tackle donation goes to taking kids yep. fishing. So it's a worthy cause. And speaking of which, Captain Frank Lopresti is on the uh, from the Royal Players is on the line. Good morning, Frank. Hi, Frank. Yeah, and Pete, don't forget that we can provide the tax write-off for that. Oh yeah, five hundred one C three tax deductible. I've deductible got a donation. I've got a box of beautiful reels here that a guy just brought me <clears throat> the other day with a bundle of rods, and and uh, Doug came over and and put a value on them, and I'm going to send the guy a, a receipt for receiving those rods, and he can write that off. So Fantastic. that's something else people can keep in mind. Big time. So, point, yeah. Good morning. I, I just wanted to call about uh, a nice fish this morning. I don't know if you've heard already. The Pegasus weighed in one this morning, gilled and gutted at 316 pounds. Oh, <laughs> wow. Nice, nice fish. Who That's a in. good one, man. And that came from our local waters here, right? A whole 50 miles away. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's a good <clears> one. And then, then the uh, Shogun returned this morning with a beautiful catch. Ten fish over 100. He had 65 bluefin, 12 yellowtail, one dorado. Ten of them over 100, like I said. And uh, that was from a three-day trip. Royal Polaris left yesterday, uh, 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon. I just talked to him at 6 this morning. He had three fish aboard at 80 pounds apiece. So Whoa. off to a decent start, and he was sitting on a school of fish. So He's hopefully biting, things man. will keep uh, keep going. And uh, there, There's actually some pretty decent scores on some beautiful tuna. And, you know, the thing you got to remember, for every one you catch – Boy, there's so many, you, you know, you hear, I, I talked to one guy this morning, said I got bit four times. I got chewed off four times. Wow. So, big you know, fish, that's right? that's going to happen. But, pardon? It's big fish. Well, it's, you know, uh, according to Paul this morning on the Shogun, he says it's almost cookie cutter. Everything's from 100 to 150 pounds. Wow. So a lot of that, and then there's some of the smaller fish, too. Anyhow, yeah. just wanted to let you guys know that. That's and awesome. a reminder about the uh, Jesus thing, a GoFundMe for Jesus Campagnoni. It's yep. going well, and we hope that continues. And uh, I don't know what we'd do without Mike Lum and Tim Baker and Harold Davis. Those guys work their butts off. Absolutely. Harold's actually just a supervisor. Mike and Tim do all the work. What? <laughs> Harold, Harold's the, uh, Her the uh, orators, that we say, the ombudsman, right? <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, but no, we can't right. do it without any of the, our crew on, with the Captain Rollo's Kids at Sea, Friends of Rollo crew, including you, Frank. Thanks a lot for uh, for all the great news, and uh, go catch a big one, right? You bet. It's time. Oh, that, that's the other thing I wanted to mention. If you if Those that are interested, Royal Polaris had to uh, cancel a couple of trips. If anybody's interested in three-day trips, there are a couple of them in August that still have room. I think there's one in late July that has room. So if anybody's interested, take a look at our schedule and give us a call. Thank okay. you guys very, very much. All right. Thanks, appreciate that, Frank. Uh, give a call to Royal Polaris Sport Fishing, Shogun Sport Fishing, and uh, talk to the girls in the office and get set up on a good trip. Appreciate the call this morning, Frank. And, again, uh, if you want to uh, donate to that uh, Jesus Campiñones uh, uh GoFundMe page, uh, go to our Facebook page and find the link to that GoFundMe page and help out Jesus, who is uh, very sadly uh, suffering from a, uh, a pretty severe uh, brain tumor right now. And we need to help this guy who has been part of our industry for many, many, many years. I, I did it last night. That donation takes seconds. I mean, yeah. it takes you know, one, one minute out of your time to lend a few dollars to a guy that lends all his time to helping us out. It's oh, yeah. very easy to find. I did exactly what you said. I went to the Fisherman, the Let's Talk hookup uh, Facebook page, found the link, clicked on it. I mean, it was just, 
it was super, super yep. easy to do, and I, uh, I hope everybody else can, if they can afford it, can yeah. follow suit. And you know what's cool, Frank? Uh, um, Tell is me. You look down the list of people donating. It's like the who's who's of long range. I enjoyed fishing. that. You know, so that's nice. that's it's, it's just so nice it's really it's so great to see all these people in the long range world just stepping up and helping out a great guy. You bet. And he is yeah. a great guy. Um, yeah, I've sure. had a couple of stories sent to me this morning. I mean, just, you know, he's he, he's he was he is exceptional. Yeah, all right. I'll let you guys go. Thank Thanks, you, Frank. Thanks, Frank. Appreciate the call this morning. All right. Phones are packed. They want to cop the Captain Art Taylor or the searcher. They want to talk some fishing here. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Why don't we start that off with Roger? He's calling us from Fullerton this morning. Good morning, Roger. Welcome to Let's Talk Hook Up. Good morning, guys. Great show. Thanks, uh, Roger. Congratulations, morning, Roger. Art, on 50 years on uh, with the searcher yes. and the Royal Polaris. Um, me and my grandson have been uh, had several great fishing adventures on the searcher. And he was lucky enough to learn how to play cribbage thanks to a couple of very patient fishermen like Alan, and he still forgets his nibs, Alan. Uh, <laughs> that brings my question to uh, Art Taylor is quite a cribbage player, and I'd like to know where, where he learned and you know who taught him, and was it on a fishing boat maybe? Oh, yeah, it was. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it cost me a lot of money learning how to do that. <laughs> Yep, I don't know that there's a boat that still goes out that uh, goes fishing for more than a day or two where there's not probably a cribbage table shoved on a, yeah, on a galley table gotta somewhere. got to have a cribbage board. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of the, the, the long-range uh, game now. And I guess Ricky's become quite the cribbage player now, too. I love it. Yeah, well, Dallas, my grandpa and I used to play, and then I kind of fell out of it. And Dallas used to work at a lodge in Alaska all of her summers, and she played all the time. And, yeah, we... Yeah, all the time. We've got the little travel, the little travel board that anytime we're in an airport or something, got an extra few minutes. We always, we always get the board out. I, I love it. Best two-handed card game there is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've got. To, I, I've played a little bit. I got to learn. I guess. I guess a bit just better take the time to do it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Roger. Time to go fishing so you can get your cribbage main yeah. game going. Thanks a lot for See the you, call Roger. this morning. Appreciate that. Let's head down south right now. John Ireland from Rancho Leonero is calling us. Buenos dias, John. Good morning, Peter. Hi, Rick. Hello, Art. Hi, John. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Uh, good fishing again this week, guys. You know, very few boats out, about three a day. We're still getting up and running, getting up to speed here. But, gosh, the fishing's been great, uh, especially for the rooster fish. Wow. Lots and lots of guiles around. Um, mainly around the lighthouse, they're picking up the big boys. And on the Rincon side, just south of the lighthouse there, they're releasing, you know, as, literally as many fish as they have bit to catch. Uh Biggest fish I saw was about close to 90 pounds. They're averaging, honestly, they're averaging between 40 and 50 pounds, something like that. A lot, a lot of really big, nice rooster fish around. Real, really close to the beach. So everybody's loving those. Uh, Stripe marlin uh, are about six miles directly off the lighthouse. Again, just straight outside. Lots and lots of stripers around bunches. Um, I would say the average boat's releasing probably three Gabrielle was out there the day before yesterday, Gabrielle and Eddie, and uh, they released nine. It's real common to hear boats coming in releasing five, six, seven fish. It's just a load wow. of them out there. Jeez. A lot of stripers around, yeah. Um, taking the ballyhoo and uh, and the marlin lures. we got Cabayuda for bait, a few on those, but mostly they love in the ballyhoo, so lots of them around. They're also picking up a big bull dorada right in that same area. Not many Dorado around, but the ones that they're catching are, are big fish, like 30 to 45 pounders, nice big bulls. Uh, they're catching them on the, on the marlin lures and cedar plugs there. So uh, yellowfin are they're catching big yellowfin right in the same areas as the uh, as the big rooster fish, right right there off the lighthouse, right off that first drop off. And I think they're coming out of Pomo, these big solitary fish. But they're they're the biggest tuna we're catching, and they're 30 to 50 pounders. Solitary fish, you know, they're not schooling, so they're picking up one or two a day. But real nice fish. They're uh, they're uh, dropping squid down for them and uh, cabido, and that's working. Outside about 10 miles to 20 miles off the, outside the park, outside Pomo Park there, uh, Pods of Porpoise holding a football-sized yellowfin, a lot, a lot of yellowfin. Pretty small fish, so biggest one I saw was about 15 pounds, but uh, limits on those guys. They're catching them on hoochies, squid, uh, cedar plugs there. Um, good fishing right now, guys. They're really good fishing. We're getting lots of great photos on the website. 
Uh, that, yeah, that sounds absolutely. fantastic. Now, John, there, uh, you know how rumors are. There were rumors that there was talk about closure of uh, Southern Baja. Have you heard anything about that? No, you know, uh, down here it's just pretty much like up there. They're getting a resurge in the in the COVID, so everybody's nervous. Uh, I haven't heard that. And gosh, uh, uh, the wife and I came in on Friday, flew down, and, and went up and picked up her and the dogs. And the airport was crowded, more crowded than I've ever seen it uh, coming into Cabo. It was, I mean, it was jammed. Lots of people coming in. You know, I think a part of that is uh, uh, Mexico is probably the only country that the Americans can travel to right at the moment. Yeah. So everybody's yeah. taking advantage of it. But no, I, 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 you hear the rumors, but uh, it hasn't happened yet. We're going to keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully not. Yeah, and, and you're limited to capacity there. So there's a lot of social distancing going on at Rancher Leonero and and um, is it yeah, a maximum of 12 rooms? That's it? Well, yeah, we're, we're up to about 15 we can get away with, actually. It's it's a number of guests, and we can hold about 110 guests easily. You know, you have to keep in mind the ranch is so spread out anyway. You know, it's sitting in the middle of uh, a mile on either side of, of our property, so there's nobody on the beaches, and uh, the rooms are real spread out. They're actually going to do, uh, rather than do a percentage of occupancy, they were going to do a uh, cubic meters or square feet per person and figure that out. And I was hoping they were going to do that because we have so much area in the ranch. Ranch is so spread out. Anyway, we're, we're down between 10 and 15 rooms, and, and we haven't hit that yet. We, this coming week, we should be uh, right up to our limits, though, that's wow. for sure. Well, that's great yeah. news. And, man, I'm telling you, the outdoor dining there, extraordinary place to have outdoor i mean all the all the food served outside it's you know you have your own room of separated yep. i mean couldn't think of a better place to be right now um, than rancho yeah, really, you know yeah you keep in mind how spread hot the hotel is on the property and everything yeah last night was rib night we had a big rib night we had people from town and everything so nice. it's all good We're down here yeah We're well good. if somebody wants to come down to rancho Leonero. Sip on one of those margaritas and have a beautiful outdoor dining and catch a lot of fish. How do we do that? Thanks, Pete. It's 800-646-2252. Or go on the website. we got lots and lots of photos on there. These big rooster fish are incredible. Lots of big, big boys. Big ones. Yeah, that's cool. Cool. Thanks, John. Appreciate that very much. Call from Ranch Lane Arrow, and we'll talk to you next Sunday. Hey, while, while we have you, though, I want to wish a big happy birthday to our Baja buddy, Cast Man, Richard Castaneda from Cast Tours. Oh, happy birthday, uh, Cast. 80 years old today. Wow. Can you oh, believe wow. that? Cast Man's 80? <laughs> he's, happy, he, birthday, he's, happy birthday, Richard. Happy cool. birthday, Cast Man. And of course, Cass. yeah, and Cast will be our guest uh, here in a couple weeks, too. So you'll have to stay tuned for that. It, looking forward to having him in, in the uh, world headquarters here. Let's talk hookup. So thanks, John. We'll talk to you next Sunday. Appreciate that very much. Hey, Captain Mark Taylor, when you hear all these reports about 300 pounders on the Pacific, uh, on the uh, Pegasus, uh, all the fish that the uh, that the different boats, how are you? I mean, this has got to get you yanked up about going fishing on Tuesday night on that day and a half. Absolutely. Let's talk hookup you know, trip. Are you kidding it. me? It's, uh... It's world class. It's a chance Holy to catch a fish mackerel. of a lifetime. It's in incredible. And I'm it's looking not forward just to going. Like, it's not just one or two guys watching everybody else catch a fish. I mean, they're biting a little. If, if they're putting sixteen fish on the boat, how many are they hooking? Sure. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah. You. I mean, you have a chance of tying into a fish it's of a lifetime. It's two to one right at least. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's plenty of bites. Yeah. And it's all on heavy gear, so yeah. um, that's that's a good thing. You know, you know you're, what you're doing you're you're hopefully you're going out with heavy gear so that you have the right gear from uh, from the start you yes know, you right. have a two-speed reel you have 80 pound test you right. have the right size hook and um of course if they're getting bites on kites then you know the the boat kite reel that uh, we're using is got a big two-speed reel and 100 pound test and yeah and so you have the right gear so you have a chance yes yeah that's the whole key is these big fish will chew through even yep. 200 pound right rick certainly Sh sure i mean bluefin have a little more aggressive teeth than some of the other tunas do and they're just so notorious for shaking their head you know getting straight up and down and just big head shakes and they just you know big ones go away that's part of it yeah. and uh yeah. man it's just so exciting though it it, it y like Frank was saying, 50 miles away from home, it's like you just took one day out of the middle of a 15-day trip and put yourself at Clarion Island. I mean, there, 
you know, they're catching pretty steady 100 pounders and a shot at a 250 pound. I mean, it's just, it's a, it's a pretty incredible thing to see going on right now. Yeah. No kidding. Well, Hey, phones are packed. Let's jump into you it. You got everybody wants to talk to art. Let's talk to Dylan. He's calling us from Lake forest this morning. Hi Dylan. Welcome to let's talk hook up. Hi. Good morning guys. Good morning. Good morning. Art. Right, so if you could choose one time of the year to go fishing, what time of the year would you go? When's your schedule open? <laughs> Anytime. You know, I'm, the this bluefin tuna fishery that's right here in our backyard, you know, um, I'm, I'm sure that if we were operating in the month of April and May and part of June there, that that would have been a good time to go. Um, you know, obviously, traditionally, summer and fall is, is uh, our season, but... Um, you know, it's one of those things where uh, with this fishery being so close and uh, available to everybody that, uh, you know, if you got an open weekend or something like that and you're looking for something to do, then there's there's a, there's a trip that you can jump on. It's, uh, it's pretty incredible. I, I think that uh, obviously probably my favorite time of the year is September because September and October, generally the weather's um pretty calm and the water's warm so you get more variety but um man it's the last few years you know starting in april through november has been our season and you can pick just about any time that meets your schedule and find a trip to go on yeah that's cool and and uh, those ultra limited load trips have been a huge hit haven't they they have yeah yeah, this this year is a little different because of the COVID thing, but um, no, they're great trips. Uh, very so very low explain low that. key. Everybody gets their own cabin. Wow. Uh, you know, fourteen people on a ninety foot boat. It's true. There's no problem social distancing. <laughs> yeah. and, you, have pro- um, you have a problem on the just, other side. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's very very low key. I, I you know, I uh, when we first started doing those trips, I'd tell the story that, you know, we had a great big ball of yellowtail underneath the boat, and and I could hear the, the crew yelling and screaming back there, and I went running back there, and there was five people on the back deck. It was like, wait a minute, where is everybody? <laughs> and, you know, there was guys watching TV, having a cup of coffee. You know, there's uh, it just seems very, very low key and laid back, and I love that. And uh, it, it's it's an awesome experience. Yeah, and 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 you do um, trips uh, like six days and better on those ultra limited loads. Yeah, six and seven days primarily. Yeah, uh-huh. and yeah. Uh, they're they're key towards the fall. And yeah. Um, and I can't believe you still have spots available, especially prime time October. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, there's, uh, I think there's four spots on a couple of trips there in October. Yeah, and uh, it's just a great time of year to go. And Lots then, of options. Yeah, so, uh, four, f- six day, a seven day, a seven day ultra limited load. Fourteen people. Everybody gets their own cabin. That's correct. But, yeah, yeah. And and Guadalupe is certainly one of the the Guadalupe is an option. Yep. We have um, I know you, you guys... know, authorization to go there as far as the the permits are concerned. Uh, we're just waiting for the Port of Ensenada to open. You know, one of the requirements for the for the permit and obtaining the permit and maintaining the permit is to um, check in in Ensenada with, uh, with the port captain and immigration and that sort of thing. So currently the, the Port of Ensenada, um, due to public health ministry in Mexico, is closed. So... As soon as that opens, then uh, I'm sure you'll be seeing trips going. Should to Should be fine Island. by October, I'm, for sure. Hopefully, I, hopefully yeah. by hopefully August. By August um, yeah. You know, there. I spoke to our broker um, just a couple days ago, and uh, he was hoping for some news the middle of this month. Yeah. I and, know. Oh, good. I, I was just going to talk about those trips, and I just remember the success of Wahoo fishing that you had on a particular couple of those in the fall last year. There was, you guys had a couple of trips where they just. It would have been a great Wahoo score for 30 guys. And then when you, when you look on the boat and you realize yeah. there's only 14 people there, like, there was some really good fishing on those fall trips last year. Yeah, Captain Mike went down there and found an area with uh, of kelp patties that um, he capitalized heavily on there and had just a phenomenal Wahoo fishing That's trip. So cool. That was in November. And, and uh, I think there's a... 
Well, we have that trip that we're giving away. Uh, right, the trip uh, 32, the 8th day on the 8th, eighth day, on the eighth the eighth, day, I believe it's of full November. now. And There's one spot left. One spot. I'm looking and at the schedule right the, now. Uh, the trip before that, I believe, uh, has a couple or after. Nope, that has... one's sold out. The 8th day limited load says zero on Okay, well, <laughs> so so November you, sold out, you but better there's get room on in it. October. <laughs> yeah, there's room in yeah. October, yeah, for sure. But, yeah, that's our grand prize for our uh, San Diego County Ford dealer remote broadcast is that eight day trip on the searcher in, yeah. in prime time. So yeah, thanks to Art and Celia for that, for sure. All right, let's go ahead and jump back on the phones. Thanks, Dylan, for the call. You got it, buddy. Paul and Bellflower is up next. Hi, Paul. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning, everybody. Good, Good morning. morning. Uh, Art, how did, how did you uh, buy the searcher? How did you? How did that all come about, and you get into the business and everything like that? Wow, um, I, I was in the right place at the right time. Uh, I contacted Frank Lepresti and told him that I was interested in in uh, running a boat and ownership. And uh, you know, at that time, he he had an operator on the searcher and said we'll just get back in the loop get back in the game and we'll keep that in mind and then about six months later he said how are you do you have any interest in running the searcher and and uh since i had been a crew member on there prior to that it was it was a no-brainer so when was this 1982 1982 you've year. been doing it a few years that's a good year yeah, yeah. is that the year you were born <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow now so, you know, Frank said, run the boat for a year, and if you like me and I like you, then we'll talk about a lease purchase thing. And wow, so no that kidding. was one of those deals where, you know, it was, here's this 95-footer on a silver platter. See what you can do with it, kid. Wow. Wow, wow no kidding. Wow. And uh, so it was a huge opportunity. I'm very, very grateful to Frank uh, for that opportunity. Yeah. And uh, we made it work. Yeah, That's you awesome, did. Man. Yeah. And, here, and here the boat's celebrating 50 years. 50 year anniversary. Yeah. yeah. May 24th, <clears throat> yeah, was the launch date. Yeah. Tell us to give us a brief history on the searcher, the 50 years of uh of service in the long range fleet. Well, 5 years it was the Cape Polaris Bill and Ingrid Poole had it constructed in Costa Mesa. It's a Dipmar Donaldson um all wood construction. Uh, Celia and I went up there on the 24th and drove around Newport and found where the old yard was and went really? down to Lido, where Lido Shipyard used to be, it's now Newport Harbor uh, Shipyard, and um, so we spent the day around Newport Beach, and and nice. so it's pretty interesting to what think cool about day. that. Um, I bet that was awesome. You know, putting that, getting that boat on a trailer and driving yeah. it down Newport Boulevard. <laughs> Holy can yeah. you imagine? Yeah. 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 Yeah, they did it in the middle of the night, you know, and got the necessary permits to do that. And that's what how all these Dipmars, I think there's at least a dozen still in the fleet now that that's how all of them were launched. Yeah. Um and uh you know in in um 1977, 1975 when the the Royal Polaris was launched and Frank um purchased the the Cape Polaris from Bill Poole and renamed it the Searcher. He okay. had the the small Searcher prior to that, so he took the name w with him and in 1975 started operating the the Searcher. Uh huh. Nice. And, and and Bill built this basically as the premier long range sport fishing vessel. Yeah, yeah. When it came out, you know, it was the Cadillac. It yeah. was pretty impressive. To, see photos of photos yeah. of that boat backing into the slip and, and, and a huge what, celebration and what kind of trips would he do well i think it was you know initially it was overnight trips in spring and summer and then in the fall he would do five six and seven day trips and um you know eventually they started doing longer trips uh eight and ten day trips and i uh i believe that uh you know, there were 16, 16 day trips to the Rivias as well. So, wow. um, yeah, That's that was, amazing. that was, um, part of the boat's history. And Frank did 16 day trips to the Rivias, Rivias on that on, boat on that as well. Boat. Yeah. So, so uh, overnight trip during the Albacore years, how many would they put on? <laughs> well, you know, believe it or not, the boat was certified for 88 people. 88 people. Yeah. Or 81 people. 81. Excuse me. It, it had 69 bunks. <laughs> Holy mackerel. So mackle. if you signed up and you didn't get a bunk, then you hung out in the galley. So there was... So, But they used so, to carry 88 people? 
Uh, 81 sure they, people? Yeah, absolutely. During the Albacore years? Yeah, yeah. Albacore and Yellowtail. Um, you know, I, I've, I've done overnight trips with 75 people on that boat before. What, and, <laughs> what's that like? Chaos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll bet it is. I'm glad those days are over. Oh, that's wild. That's wild. And you probably yeah. are, too. Hey, thanks a lot for the phone call that this morning. Great. Hey, we have one of the legends in the business, Don Hansen, on the line. Good morning, Don. Uh, good morning. Good morning, Art. Uh, good morning. I, I just called to say uh, I was there 50 years ago when they launched that beautiful vessel. So Really? Awesome. I was with Bill and Ingrid uh Dick Helger and I came to see it that we were invited by uh, Bill and Ingrid, so we were there, and beautiful, beautiful boat, and it still is. So I just wanted to call and congratulate you on 50 years. Uh, Thank you, Don. That's cool. That, what uh, was it like? Uh, Did you got, get to see that thing traveling down Newport Boulevard? <laughs> oh, yeah. I launched uh, five of my boats right there in the same yard, so I, I got to see a few of them go down that coast highway. And, uh, <laughs> it was kind of a unique situation watching a boat go down a coast highway. <laughs> I can't imagine. imagine. That is yeah. so cool to me. I love that. Yeah, I spent a lot of time with Dick and Don up there at uh, Seaboat and watched uh, Bruce build his boat and Schaefer build the Thunderbird. And Oh, God, yeah. I, I go back way too far, but I, I guess I can't get on the searcher because I'm over 80 now. So I have You to, can uh, still come, Don. And you have an <laughs> open invitation. Anytime you want to go for a ride, <laughs> let right. us know. Uh, I know. All right. Thank you very much. You guys have done a fantastic job with that boat in uh, – Congratulations on 50 years and uh, many, many more. Thank you That's so cool, much. Don. Thanks, Don. Appreciate the call this morning. Hey, when we come back, we got a whole lot more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way. More of your phone calls. We're going to check in with the catch report, find out what's biting up and down the beach, and a whole lot more. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup on your Let's Talk Hookup app and the radio network. The name that stands out among anglers is Fisherman's Landing, your top choice in local and long-range fishing. Hi, this is Doug Kern. Our hardworking crew will make sure your fishing experience is one to remember. We offer the finest open party trips from one to three days, the best charter boats available, and of course, our world-renowned long-range fleet is second to none. Fisherman's Landing is a full-service operation offering great half-day trips on the Dolphin and full-day open party trips on the spacious and comfortable Liberty. Since we introduced the full-day trips at Fisherman's Landing, the 85-foot Liberty has become a favorite among full-day operations with bunks for your comfort, huge bait capacity, and RSW fish holds to keep your catch fresh. Plus, Liberty has a big modern galley and two interior heads with showers. All our open party trips from half-day, full, or one- to three-day trips can easily be booked online at fisherman'slanding.com or give us a call at 619-221-8500. I'll see you at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Hey, it's time to talk about great gear from Shimano. And, uh, you know, we're talking about Big Blue Fan. We talk about it over and over again. The reel that you need is a Talica. Oh, man, there's just never been a Big Blue Fan reel created better. The nice thing about Talica is you can be in a situation um, where you can fish a Talica 16, a reel that fits in your hand, and it's easy to cast, and it's easy to turn the handle. And if you happen to hook a 150 instead of an 80, you still have enough reel to get the job yeah. done. It was the case for us when we fished last week. We were in a spot of fish that we were assuming were a little smaller, had a tack 16 with a piece of 80-pound fluorocarbon on it, hooked a fish that we, we got no problem You know, with such quality gear. It was a 160-pounder. We weren't prepared for a fish of that size, but we had the right reel to get it in case we did hook that one. You match that with uh, like a Therese rail rod, man, you've got them. That's it. For sure. Get it at your local Shimano dealer. The Shimano Talica Terez combo can't be beat. Pete here to tell you about our friends Jim and Mary and their incredible crew at Poway Valley Collision. I hear it all the time. Hey, I took my car to Poway Valley Collision, and you were right. Mentioned you guys, and they gave us the VIP treatment, fixed our car, and even gave us a special price. Believe me when I say Poway Valley Collision is worth the drive from anywhere in the Southland. We know you may not need them now, but when accidents happen, it pays to go to Poway Valley Collision. And I'm not fooling. Our listeners can save hundreds of dollars on your car or truck repair. They work with most insurance companies, including Auto Club, MetLife, and Wawanisa, and more. All you do is call Jim, Mary, or any of their team members, and they do all the rest. No hassles, just top-notch work and VIP treatment. I had my car repaired at Poway Valley Collision, and the job was perfect. So get your vehicle fixed right at Poway Valley Collision. 14211 Garden Road in Poway. Check PowayValleyCollision.com. When you put on a pair of Maui Gym sunglasses, the world begins to look different. Colors are more vivid. Contrast is clearer. Details are crisper. 
Wherever your vision leads you, beauty follows. With polarized lenses that eliminate glare and enhance color, Maui Jim sunglasses won't change the world. They'll change the way you see it. Color, clarity, detail. Maui Jim. It's time to get excited about fishing, and Point Loma Sport Fishing has everything you'll need. They offer half-day and three-quarter day trips daily, perfect for families and the novice or seasoned fishermen. Point Loma Sport Fishing also offers overnight to multi-day trips, targeting the best of seasonal catches. Visit their website at pointlomasportfishing.com where you can purchase tickets online and get more information on the trips available, or call 619-223-1627. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hook. I'm having a great time here this morning, talking fishing, talking fun with Art. If you want to get through, join us this morning. It's been a very busy morning on the phones. Indeed. Everybody wants to talk to Captain Art Taylor. It's 833-288-0973. Yeah, indeed. And they also want to win that Anza Fish Pro Filet Knife, too. You're okay. not kidding, yeah, man. That's a good... Yeah, $185 knife, courtesy a... of Anza Knives. We want to thank them very much, Donnie and the gang over there. Let's go ahead and find out what's biting. You got it, buddy. It's time for the Catchport, which today is sponsored by the Fish Pros at Fisherman's Processing in San Diego, the the co-creators of that amazing knife. They put some uh, great input, and those people at Anza Knives knew what they were doing and built that great prize. But, hey, the experts at Fisherman's Processing, not only do they offer the best processing for your fish when your trip returned to the San Diego landings, as well as your private boat catch, now with Fish Pros, the market, you can purchase fresh fish, smoked and jerkied fish, their spices, rubs, smoked cheese, and their famous tuna burgers and that amazing pokey kit it's all available at their convenient liberty station location or order online at fishermansprocessing.com all right let's find out what's biting out there brian willie is on the line from dana wharf sport fishing good morning brian hey willie hey good morning guys how's it going in there this morning doing fantastic great. and we're watching the searcher <laughs> yeah, back into the slip as we speak <laughs> exactly. right here oh perfect timing right yeah indeed good, good stuff hey up here you know we, we had another I call it a pretty good week of fishing. <clears throat> we had some funky conditions and stuff like that to work with uh, a couple days. Uh, but uh, all in all, just kind of a, a good uh, good summer week. Locally, the bass fishing, it's been it's been fun. It's been pretty good. Certainly, conditions are king. Uh, the conditions for us this week were a little bit better in the mornings the last couple days. Uh, the half-day zone, the bass action has been good on a myriad of different things. <clears throat> the live bait's been catching some fish. Great action as well on the rubber lures, the surface iron, the hard baits. It's all been uh, working pretty good there on that, that bass. Three-quarter day action is, is similar to the half-day scene in regards to that bass fishing. Some good current this week. That helped things a lot, too, along the kelp. Uh, these three-quarter day trips, we've been uh, holding in some shallow water rockfish, too, as needed. Uh, again, the conditions with the inshore program has kind of dictated uh, how, how we've approached that uh, shallow water rockfish. So we're telling our guys, come with like an 8-foot medium rod and a 300-size reel that you have some braid on. That'll cross over good. You can you can fish calico bass. You can throw the rubber lure with it. And then if you need to, you know, tie on a heavier sinker or fish a cold sniper jig for some of that rock fish, it transitions over real nice, makes things nice and smooth. And with that big south swell yesterday, gosh, things were all washed out. And it was a little bit, a little bit tougher day for us yesterday. The Fury, he's been over at... Uh, Clemeny, he's had some some good action over there on his trips. Uh, that yellowtail fishing is still pretty darn good over there. It's it's more of a day to day deal for that yellowtail. Some days it's certainly been biting better than others, but uh, he's also been catching plenty of bass, sheephead, and whitefish in between that yellowtail opportunity over there. And then our six pack fleet staying busy too. Those guys have been over uh, at Clemeny catching that that yellowtail, getting a little dabble in that blue fin that's down there. And uh, even starting to see some fish on the kelps out here. Uh, the border and two had a nice little hit on some yellows on some kelps uh, up this way as well this week. So everything's kind of hitting here for us. So if you guys want to hop on a trip, give the landing a phone call. Our phone number here is 949-496-5794. Of course, uh, you can check us out on the web at DanaWharf.com. And call and make those reservations. Certainly need that. And, again, if you have a small little family group you want to get out, you know, we've got plenty of opportunity on some of our smaller boats to get the small family groups out we've had quite a few of those actually lately um that's with cool. our six pack guys so yeah. it's, it's been a good deal <clears throat> great uh, sounds great so. captain brian woolley dana wharf sport fishing appreciate the call and uh, we'll talk to you next sunday all right guys thanks for that we'll talk to you then thanks right. Willie. while we're standing by for gundy gunderson our surf guru let's jump back in the phone sounds good bud how about we talk to dave he's calling us from poway hi dave welcome to let's talk hookup good morning guys 
Dave. Good to hear the Dave. good fishing reports. Really good. Say, um, Art, thanks for all your contributions to the fishing industry. I've got a searcher story from my first long range trip. Um, it was oh, several years ago now, and I'd signed up for a Penn University trip with Steve Carson on that trip. And when we got to Fisherman's Landing, you had announced that we were going to go to the ridge. So there was immediate excitement. Everybody was excited to get to go there. Ricky got us lined up with Wahoo tackle and bombs and all of that. And so off we went. And um, at the start of the trip, the first night, I think it was, we we're dropper loop fishing for yellowtail. I'm on the starboard side of the boat. It's, we started at 3 o'clock, and by this time it's about 4.30. I dropped my dropper loop down, and it stopped after about 10 feet, and I couldn't, wasn't sure what happened. If, did it get fouled or whatever? I knew it wasn't, I, you know, couldn't possibly be a bite. So I looked over the edge of the rail, and there's this shadow in the water, this white shadow, and I swear it's a third the length of the boat. It took my breath away. I didn't know what it was. So I didn't want the guys to think I was crazy. So you came by and I said, hey, Art, you know, what was that? And you kind of chuckled and you said, well, that's a whale shark. And your yeah. weight dropped on its back. And uh, you, you said, sure enough, it was a third the length of the boat. We saw it later on in the trip. Wow. So, uh, treat that that stuck crazy. with me. And then yeah, later on, sharks from time in that to time, thing? we see them on the ridge. Really? Yeah, yeah, That's they're cool. they're impressive animals. Yeah, yeah, they are. I am of yellowfin, yellowtail, dorado, and wahoo. We had good wahoo fishing that trip, and uh, all in the same twenty-four hour period at Grand Slam. And I'm thinking, yeah, this long-range fishing, it's it's a pretty cool deal. I'm in. <laughs> yeah, this is okay. <laughs> and now you're hooked. Yeah, uh, definitely hooked, and. Uh, you make you have such a good operation, Art, top to bottom. Um, thank you for um, that introduction to Long Range. Thank you for many things, and I just wanted to you know relay that and express my thanks and my congratulations on the Searcher's 50th anniversary too. Well, thank you very much for the kind words. Uh, we appreciate that. All right, thanks, Dave, for the call this morning. Okay, let's continue that f fish report. You got it. It's time for Gundy Gunderson, our surf guru. He's on the line right now. What's up, Gundy? Hey, how you guys doing? Hello, Art. Gundy, congratulations Morning, Gundy. on 50, fifty great years, Art. That's fantastic. Thank you. Well, hey, all good things must come to an end, and that big swell kind of put the kibosh on an excellent you know, beach bite, you know, most of the shallows are pretty turned up right now, but fear not, uh, you know, we have a full moon, strong tides, warming water, grunion runs, so as soon as it evens out, we're going to get right back at it. Um, you know, it's uh, one of the bright spots, we've got a couple bright spots this season so far, and the Corbina fishing has been one of them. Uh, just from Santa Barbara to the Mexican border, we've had Corbina catches all throughout the early part of this summer and you know most of the veterans are saying that it's it's better than they've seen in recent years and um, the other pleasant surprise has been the calico bass fishing we've been talking about that and we had a lot more a lot of fish caught in the shallows again this week and uh, we're just seeing good numbers good quality fish and uh, for the calico bass enthusiasts you got to be happy hook line sinker reported a good halibut action off galita flash minnows have been a top bait up there uh, the grunion have been running on this Galita beach, so it's been very consistent. Lots of fish in the 18 to 28 inch range, uh, topped by a, I think a 34 inch fish was a big one this week. Uh, Wiley's reported excellent all around fishing for a variety of species: albit, calico bass, yellowfin, croaker, corbina, opali, leopard shark, sarg, all in the catch this week. Uh, the top catch was from a kayaker, 40 inch halibut, taken outside Ooh. Paradise Cove on a a whole trap rig sardine, and we've been talking about how well the sardines are fishing for the halibut guys. And don't, you know, don't hesitate using a big one, big bait, big fish, and uh, put a trap hook on there. Uh, big fish at Seal Beach reported good halibut action off Cherry Beach Shoreline Drive. Drop shot zoom flukes are working there. 17 pounder on a live smelt was the top fish up there. Good corvina action too off Bolt of Chica. Um, and all the way down the line there, Catch and Tackle reported a four-pound, two-ounce corbina taken on a bloodworm near the piers. Uh, most anglers reporting multi-fish days, uh, the street jetties, river jetties, also real good. 
Hogan's and Data Point reported lots of Corbina taken throughout Capitol Bay, finding more bait sized sand crabs, so the sand crabs have been good. And the guys are using the rake to get the soft shells, and uh, the soft shells are just about a guaranteed bite. And also good calico bass fishing off South Laguna there, and then the guys are also getting them from swing sets to Cotton Point. You know, you get out there early in the morning and throw those swim baits, you see the fish flipping outside the surf line. That's what you're looking for. And uh, six-pound, ten-ounce spot fin wins the Pacific Coast Croker Derby. Lots of Corvina, too, along this this uh, beach. And then Blue Water reported a 29-inch Corvina caught and released Ooh. off Cardiff. 29 inches, that's got to be somewhere around the seven-pound mark. That's, that's a just big a fish. monster fish. And he didn't have a scale. I can't, I can't give him uh, any guff for not weighing it, but he released it, so that's a good thing. I like, you know, I like to have a little spring scale with me. You know, the digital scales I've had trouble with over the years, malfunctioning at the worst time. But a good old-fashioned spring scale, throw it in your backpack, and when you hang a fish like that, it's always good to know the size. So that's Indeed. my little tip of the week. But fantastic right. fish is back it's coming good one gundy Uh, well we sure appreciate a great report and uh, we will talk to you next sunday all right have a good week you guys you too see you gundy appreciate that hey when we come back we got a lot more let's talk cook up coming your way more your phone calls more great info you stay tuned you're listening to southern california sport fishing voice this is let's talk hook up on the let's talk hook up app and radio network Rock Cod Rick here for West Coast Marine and Parker Boats. You see them all over Southern California waters. Parker Boats at the launch ramp, the offshore islands. You wake up in the morning on an overnight trip and there they are. Parker Boats of all size fishing in the same area as the sporty. There's a good reason for it. Fishability and seaworthiness. Of all the boats out there, my boat partner and I chose to get a brand new 25 Parker Center Console from Kevin Kelly and the gang at West Coast Marine and I could not be happier. Wow, what a fishing machine. Parker Marine builds a heavy duty, industrial strength boat probably overbuilt but that's why so many four and six pack charters choose to operate parkers we thank the guys at pinnacle sport fishing season sport fishing one man charters black and blue sport fishing for their confidence in parker boats Take it from me, if you are ready for a new Parker at a fair, upfront, and honest deal, you need to see Kevin Kelly at West Coast Marine. Located at 1555 Newport Boulevard in Costa Mesa, or check out their inventory and information at westcoastmarine.com. One of the dream trips for most anglers is Alaska. There are so many lodges, how do you make a choice? It's easy. Choose the one most Let's Talk Hookup listeners return to time after time. Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. No one does it better than Kingfisher Charters. They offer the best service, the most comfortable accommodations, fantastic food, and the finest charter captains in Sitka. All for the ultimate value. One visit and you will understand why nobody beats Kingfisher Charters. Sitka is famous for some of the best runs of salmon in Alaska. And if giant Alaskan halibut is your target, the expert captains at Kingfisher Charters know the hot spots and can put you on a fish of a lifetime. Plenty of rockfish and huge lingcod are there too. And when it comes to fish processing, the best in Alaska is Kingfisher Charters. It's all included in your package. In fact, everything is included except tips. It is truly amazing how the Kingfisher crew continues the quality of service they deliver year after year. Kingfisher Charters, 800 727 6136 or check kingfisherchargers.com. We all need to get around, but we all need something different from our vehicles. Your San Diego County Ford dealers have you covered if you're looking for a new truck this month. Plus, it's SUV season, so they have great deals for everyone. Whether it's a new Echo Sport that is nimble and fun around town, or the Ford Explorer that is capable of putting a boat in the water and has seating for seven, Ford has you covered. Ford trucks and SUVs aren't just powerful and legendary. They have the latest technology that helps you seamlessly connect your smartphone and ensure you're safe on the road. Features like Pro Trailer Backup Assist on trucks are truly a game changer at the ramp, helping you back up a trailer by simply turning a knob on the dash and doing the hard work for you. So check out all the great deals during SUV season and save some money on the right gear for you. Learn more at buyfordnow.com or visit your San Diego County Ford dealers today. They'll be glad to hook you up. 
Fifth Avenue Insurance has a new name. It's Snap Insurance. Still providing anglers and boaters with the best in boat insurance and the lowest rates. The experts at Snap Insurance will make sure your boat and property are covered right. Traveling to Mexico? Snap has you covered. You can even work with your agent to wrap your home and auto with your boat policy to save even more. Call them for advice on your current boat policy or any of your insurance needs. Snap Insurance, 800-527-6617 or snapins.com. That's S-N-A-P-P-I-N-S.com. Shimano has done it again. An amazing lever drag two speed reel at an affordable price. It's Speedmaster 2, the extremely durable, high-performance Speedmaster 2 with high maximum drag power and a smooth, ultra-wide range of drag adjustability is an absolute fish-fighting machine. Its rigid, hoggedy body prevents misalignment of moving parts under the heaviest loads, plus a spare drag cam is included for optimal use with monofilament lines. The Speedmaster is now available in four models, 12, 16, 20 and 25. This is the perfect reel for the angler looking for a powerful, lightweight, smooth casting reel for tuna or other powerful saltwater game fish at more affordable price. Nothing in its class can match the Shimano Speedmaster 2, built to provide high-end performance and durability in a compact, lightweight frame. Get the Shimano Speedmaster 2 lever drag reel at your local Shimano dealer. Check Shimano.com for all the details. 